Here I have the new Apple Watch Ultra 2 and this year Apple introduced a SIP9 system in a package which has an increased performance compared to the last three years of Apple Watches. Series 6, 7 and 8 featured the same processor pretty much. Apple didn't officially state this but people have looked at the labeling on the ship itself and it's been, been the same. So we should see a performance increase on the Ultra 2 compared to the Series 7. So let's run some benchmarks and see how much faster the new SIP9 is. Both these watches have been completely restored, set up with default settings, updated to the latest watch OS 10. And to run the benchmark on these, we will be using it. And also they are connected to Wi-Fi. So none of them is connected to the phone. They have a similar battery, battery percentage. And to run the benchmark, we go into this email. I've emailed myself this link to browserbench.org. Click on the link. This benchmark is designed to benchmark web browsers. And the Apple Watch has kind of a web browser. So we can click start test. And it will cycle through a lot of web stuff. And I will move these screens ever, every now and then just to avoid the watches falling asleep. So I'll speed this up for you because it takes a while. You see the progress at the bottom. And there the Apple Watch Ultra is already done. The Series 7 has a little bit of a way left to go. So let's wait for the result for that one as well. Okay, there we have it. 26.69 on the Series 7 and 40 on the Ultra 2. It's significantly faster than new SIP9 in this test. How that compares into the real world of using watchOS, I cannot tell that big of a difference in just daily usage from using these two watches. I can feel that the animations on the Ultra 2 is a little bit smoother in watchOS 10. Besides that, there's not much of a difference. Loading some apps is a little bit faster, but what's more interesting is Maybe watch OS 11. What happens then? How slow will the Series 7 feel? In this test, there is a significant difference. 80% something. Yeah, so let's go into the details here. There we can see how long each run took. It will vary. I mean, the watch doing is doing background stuff every now, now and then, so it averages it out. And I have run this a few times. It's been around 26, 28 on the Series 7 and 38, 40 on the Ultra 2. So there is a significant speed increase with the new ship. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something about these watches and maybe you can make a more informed decision. So I'll see you in the next video.